In this video, we will look at the settings block within your course in Moodle 2.0 and the various administration features that appear in this block depending on where you are in the course. When you are on the main page in your course, your settings block may look something like this. You have Turn Editing On, which lets you make changes to your course. Edit Settings takes you to your course settings page, which is the same as the page you filled out when you first create a new course from scratch. The Users drop-down gives you your user actions. You can view a list of enrolled users. You can change the enrollment methods. You can view, edit, add and delete groups within your course. View permissions and perhaps change some permissions within the course. This is recommended for advanced users only. Other users shows you users who are not enrolled in your course but do have roles, inherited or assigned within it. Filters lets you turn the multimedia filters on or off within your course. Grades goes to your gradebook. You may or may not have access to the next four, depending on if they have been disabled for teachers on your site. I would steer clear of these unless you are very sure of what you're doing, as you can accidentally delete your course or all the users from it with a click of a button here. Backup creates a zip file backup of your course, so you can take it to another Moodle installation and restore it there. Restore restores a course from a zip backup file. Import lets you import resources and activities from another course in which you are a teacher. Reset removes all enrolled users and all student data from a course, letting you start again with a blank slate. The Question Bank drop-down gives you access to all quiz questions, question categories, or lets you import or export questions from your course. In case you are wondering where the Switch Role button that used to be in the top left near Turn Editing On went, here it is. This drop-down lets you temporarily switch role to any role below yours to see what the course would look like. The My Profile Settings drop-down lets you edit your own profile, change your password, or go to your private messages. Security Keys enables other systems to access Moodle securely. If you are using another application to access Moodle, it may require a security key. You can view it here and reset it if need be. If it is reset, it will need to be re-entered into the application that is trying to access Moodle. Finally, the blog drop-down gives you access to your blog preferences and manage the RSS feeds to any external blogs. However, if you are viewing an activity, the settings block changes slightly. It gains a new section above course administration that is specific to that activity, allowing you to change the activity's settings, locally assigned roles and so on. The options available in the activity administration depend on the activity type. 